hello everyone we are again back with a new video and in this video we will learn how to run different parts of a simulink program matlab simulink file at different rate so we can say that we have we want to run different parts of a simulink program at different sampling rate different sampling time so we will learn in the, uh, that in this video so first we will create a parent file let us create a model whose name we will write as parent parent dot okay then we will open this parent file okay we will write parent one as parent is already somewhere in workspace Okay. Now we want to run two different parts or multiple different parts of this simulink file at different sampling rate. So what we can do, we can define two more. Let us consider two for understanding. Let us consider that we want to run two different parts of this simulink file at different sampling rate. So we have to define two more models here. We can give them name as reference A. Anything, any name we can give. And then another one is reference B. Now let us open these two programs and just uh, we will put some pulse generator here and then we will define it as sample based number of samples will put two pulse width as one zero phase delay and sample time it will, it will run at sampling time of the simulating file ok now we have to put that in some scope yeah. okay. and then we have to put a output port here here we have to give a output port so that we can see it in parent file then we have to define the sampling time at which it will be running so let us change it to fixed step and discrete with no continuous state and uh, set the sampling time as 1e-2 e here okay. so this is reference a that is that will be running at a sampling time of 10 millisecond and it will generate the pulses uh, with a time step of 10 millisecond we will copy this because we want to use the same program in the reference B file as well. Let us save it. Okay, now we will open this reference B. Put the same program here, and we will just change the sampling time of this program. Again, we have to change it as fixed step, no continuous state, and we will set its sampling time as one millisecond. One e minus two. Okay, our child files are ready. Now, only we have to set our parent file. For that, we will open our parent file, and we will we have to use the model reference 
systems here so as we have two systems we will use two things and we have to give the name that we have given we have given to the child file so first one is reference a okay it has come over here and the second one is reference b yeah it has come over here can put some scopes here and we have to again to we have to again change the sampling time here so one thing we have to remember that the sampling time of the parent file should be at least equal to or smaller than the sampling time of the file having minimum sampling time so we have minimum sampling time as 1 millisecond so here we will put a 0.1 millisecond as our sampling time that is 100 microsecond ok then we are good to go so before running this pro program or we will first change the uh, overall run time let's select as 0 0.1 second we want to run the whole program for 0 0.1 second now let us run it ok so we can see that reference 1 this is reference A it is running at a uh, sampling time of 10 millisecond this is reference A and we have put the sampling time here as 10 millisecond and it is running at 10 millisecond and for second one reference B yeah, we can see that it is less than 10 millisecond. It is 1 millisecond what we have put. So, this kind of uh, multi sampling uh, running different parts of the code at different sampling time is very useful in some like uh, inverter control, three phase inverter control, we, where we want to put outer voltage in a current loop and we want to control both the loops at different sampling rates. If you like this video, please like, share and comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.